Darling, you. Hey guys, welcome back and hello if you are new. My name is Sarah and I make a ton of gift guide videos just like this one um, here on my channel. I have years and years worth of gift guides, all things Easter, Christmas, birthdays, Valentine's Day, Halloween, anything you can think of for gift guides, I've got you covered. Um, so I hope that this strikes your fancy. I also have a bunch of other content here on my channel, plus size fashion, beauty, cooking, what's for dinner videos, home decor, all that type of stuff. So I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below. And if you haven't followed me already, already, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Um, those will also be linked below. I post um, and am very frequent on TikTok as or on Instagram, and I'm starting to get a little bit more excited and posting more on TikTok. I think it's so fun over there. So um, don't forget to follow me on those if you would like to hang out with me a little bit more. Um, and without further ado, I'm not going to try to ramble too much because this video is going to be so long, but it is what I got my kids for Easter video. Um, I took a little bit of a hiatus there. I just needed a break for a while. Life was just insanely busy and crazy and I was having a really hard time balancing everything. And I just, YouTube just became more of an obligation and I just wasn't enjoying it at all anymore. Um, and I was just really, really stressed out and I just needed a break. So I took a little bit of a hiatus there and I'm so thankful for all of you guys for checking up on me um, and just giving me grace during that time. I really appreciate it. But I'm back and I'm so excited to get to posting again. But my biggest, biggest request while I was gone was if I was gonna do my Easter video. And I'm so thankful for you guys for just wanting to see it and asking for it, requesting it. I got so many DMs, messages, emails, comments. I'm just wondering if it was gonna happen and I'm so excited to tell you that it is. So today is gonna be what I got my kids for Easter video. And if you have been waiting for it, you will not be disappointed because let me just say, I thought I had gone very mild this year. I was like, it's going to be nothing. It's going to be so light. It's going to be so no big deal. It's so chill. Honestly and truly, I don't know what I was thinking. It is the farthest thing from light. I have way too much stuff. I don't even remember getting all of this stuff, but apparently I did. However, I feel like I did not spend that much money, so I'm really excited to share it with you because I have so many goodies to share with you. Um, as always, I will try to have everything linked down below. Some of the stuff is only in-store purchase only, um, but I will always share with you where I got every item if um, I can. That being said, Said, a lot of this stuff is in store purchase only, but a lot of this stuff will be able to be like pick up quickly available. Hopefully shipping was really fast for the stuff that I did order online. So I'm hoping that you guys can all get it in time for Easter this year. Also, we do Easter as a family, so Easter Bunny comes to everyone in the family. That's something that I happened when I was a kid, and it's something that I just love to carry on. So I do have some goodies that I will be getting or showing you that I got my husband this year. Not everything has come in yet, and there's a couple things that I'm still trying to figure out what I want to get for him. Um, but for the most part, everything is here, um, and I'm excited to share a couple of goodies for him as well to give you guys some ideas. So I think without further ado, I am going to get started because it's going to take a while. So let's just jump in. I'm going to jump in with the candy just to get that out of the way and the duplicates that the girls each have. Um, normally I go super light on the candies for Easter and I normally get a bunch of questions like why there's no candy in their baskets and apparently this year I decided to do away with that and give a bunch of candy. So I got them each one of these eggs. I got this at Target for like three bucks. They're these spring mixes and they come with a bunch of different items, some ring pops, a push pop, a baby bottle pop, and a juicy drop pop. Um, these probably, depending on how much stuff is in the baskets, these will probably end up going as an Easter egg hunt egg um, in itself. Um, but the girls have been really enjoying to try new candy and they're getting to the age where that's like a really fun thing to do It's something that I remember doing and really enjoying so I got them each a little pack of these They've had a mini ring pops and some push pops, but they've never had the other two So I got them each one of these eggs, but like I said, I think those will be for Easter egg hunting But in their baskets, um, I got these actually before I bought those but I bought more baby bottle pops so I think they had seen these in a video or something and they were like, they've never had them. And I just like hit me like, wow, you're, <laughs> you're kids. Um, but like they had never had a lot of the stuff, 
like all the fun treats and stuff that I had had growing up and they're getting to the age where I would try them when I was their age and so I thought it'd be fun for them to try out some baby bottle pop. So um, these are strawberry watermelon flavor, strawberry and like an Easter berry. These are from Walmart for like three bucks or so and so those will probably end up in their baskets. Um, I also each got them a Kinder Joy Egg because these are perfect for Easter. They're delicious. Um, these are also at Walmart, but you can get these like all over. Um, these may end up going for the Easter egg hunt depending on what I need or they may go in their baskets. Um, and then I think this is the last treat. Um, I got them each a little bit differently things. These are more my pay, um, in memory of my dad. He used to love Whoppers, especially the Robin Eggs one, so I got these for Ollie. And then these are super special for me, the Double Bubble Eggs, because my dad got these every year for my mom and I wanted them so bad, but I was a kid who was terrible with gum, like the worst. I used to put it everywhere, and God bless my mother, and she would just deal with me, but she did not get me these. <laughs> Um, and so my dad would like sneak and share them with me and I don't know I'm just so many good memories like the smell will just like instantly hit me and give me so much nostalgia So, um, Eleanor's really obsessed with gum. She tried it this year and she's done such a good job with it We only let her chew it when we're around Um, but she really enjoys doing it and it feels like super sassy and just like smacks it And I know that's so many people's pet peeve, but she's the cutest thing and I can't help it Olive, however, thinks gum is like the most pointless thing ever. She doesn't understand why people would just chew something for fun. So she's getting <laughs> whoppers. Um, okay, I think that is the majority of their treats. I may end up getting some extra little candies here and there to fill into the eggs for Easter egg hunt, but that's the majority of their treats. Um, however, my mom did pick these up for Eleanor. These are the Yum Mallows Unicorn Poop. Um, my kid loves like pretend poop, all the fake poop, the poop emojis. She thinks it's the funniest thing ever. So my mom found these and got them for her and I know she's gonna love them. But we love the Yum Mala brand. If you watched my Christmas uh, stocking stuffer guide, the girls got a big like uh, marshmallow twist and they loved them. Um, we get these at Walmart in the like marshmallow baking section, section. Uh, section and um, we've been really really happy with them so I'm sure she's gonna love these and probably share them with her sister but they're going in Eleanor's basket okay moving on to some of the duplicate items that I have for them first things first in an Easter basket basket classic are sidewalk chalk um, every year the girls get a new pack this year we got some from Crayola these are just little eggs I just thought these were really really cute um, and the little cute little egg cartons so um, these are washable egg or sidewalk chalk always a always a crowd pleaser these were like $2.99 at Target um, I mean that's like I feel like everybody needs sidewalk chalk in their basket um, also another classic bubbles so I found these um, really cute ice cream bubbles at Walmart for 98 cents. I don't know the quality. I don't know how well they'll actually produce bubbles, but I just thought they were too cute to pass up. So I got the girls each one of these. They still are obsessed with bubbles and have so much fun, but the best bubbles in my opinion are the Fubbles. I feel like they give the best bubble and these ones are great because there's no spill, so they're not going to lose a little liquid and it's gonna be super messy these are awesome if you have toddlers who want to be more independent and use the wand by themselves i highly recommend them um i get them every year at walmart but i know you can i think you can get them in target and other places um there's only 98 cents and i really recommend them they come in a bunch of different colors these are great i um, really like the bubbles also in the target dollar spot i picked up these really cute bath bombs this year these are peeps um, little bath bombs are like the chick shaped ones and they're nice because they're kind of flatter they're big but they're flat and so they're not going to be like a big chunk of things in the basket they can just like kind of easily i don't know i just thought these are perfect for easter baskets um and they're scented this is a grape marshmallow scent and this is a strawberry marshmallow scent bath bombs always hit for kids always 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 um and i've had a red bull so i'm very hyper right now <laughs> just realized that i feel like i'm going a mile a minute so i'm sorry <laughs> i was trying to perk up but i feel like it did too much because i never drink energy drinks anyway these are a dollar in the dollar section <laughs> sorry um i also went to a place called daiso now daiso um is i don't think it's a national chain i think it does i think they're in southern california i want to say in arizona and texas 
um, but it is a Japanese store that has a bunch of different food items, home decor items, stationery, I mean beauty, so much different stuff, um, and it's super fun to go and shop at. But I picked up these two little chopstick sets for the girls. They've never used chopsticks before, um, but I love to use chopsticks, and I just thought it would be really, really fun. Um, so I got each of the each of them a cute little set of chopsticks. So I found a little um, a little bear and a little panda bear. I don't know who's getting what, but I think they're super cute and will be fun for them to use. I love some chopsticks myself and I just think these are super cute and I always like to get them some sort of like utensil or food storage or something kind of thing plate cup or something for Easter and so this year they get chopsticks I think this is the last like duplicate item that they're sharing and then we'll get into individual kid um, kids so this is from play day these are just like basically giant squirt guns little squirters um, these are from Walmart they were super inexpensive it's about to be pool season I normally like to get them like outdoor toys and like pool stuff for um, Easter because it gets hot real quick in Texas um, and so I got these I just think they'll be really fun to squirt each other and they don't have to be in the pool to use them um, and uh, yeah so you know I think these are just like a good cheap Easter toy that are fun to use. So let's begin. I think we're gonna start um, with Eleanor and then we will move to Olive. Um, so for Eleanor, um, she has this little Barbie extra minis. These just came out, I believe. They're kind of like the um, little LOL tweens and I know that the Rainbow High just came out with ones that my girls want. But I just thought these were so cute. They're completely, I think they're completely articulated fully articulated um, and they're just so cute we love the Barbie extras in this house I think that um, Eleanor has one that looks like her like her big sister um, and I just think she's super cute so I think they'll be fun to be able to play with and use I think they're under ten dollars these were um, from Walmart and they have a bunch of different ones but this is the one for Eleanor she's adorable um, I feel like this is like a really good size toy too for an Easter basket. It's not like a giant toy or anything. It's a good price point and it just, it's just like cute and tiny for Easter. All right. Next, um, I found this in the Target dollar spot um, and I think this will be so much fun. Um, if you guys ever had the skip, skip hops, right? Skip jump, skip rope, skip, skip hop. Why can't I, is this a skip hop? You know what I'm talking about. Basically, you put your foot in this and you kind of like skip around and kind of, it's like a, it's a different form of a jump rope essentially and you try to get the ball to continue to go around and as you jump and skip. Um, anyway, it was a big 90s toy when you, when I was a kid and I actually saw it recently, I want to say at Target. Um, and I was like, oh, that would be such a good idea for Easter. But then I found this one in the dollar spot for $3 and I figured like, we can try this out first. If this goes over well and the girls really like it, then we maybe can like step up and get the next one, not the other one is super expensive. But I thought this would be a good one to try first. This ball um, lights up in flashes, which is really nice. The one thing I do remember about the actual like name brand was, ones were, it was like fully plastic, like the actual like ball at the end. And I feel like it would just scrape really badly and get really scratched up. So I liked that this was like rubbery and plasticky and light up, uh, lit up and I just felt like it was a little bit different. So maybe I found that not at Target. Maybe the skip jump thing was at Walmart. I don't know. I just know they still make them, but I found this one for three bucks at Target. So that will be for Eleanor. It may be a little bit hard for her at first, but they can both share it and I just feel like it'll be a good toy to have. All right, um, another thing for Eleanor's basket is a poppet. If you guys have watched any of my videos, you guys will know that she loves poppets. This is like her 15th poppet. Um, but they just, I always end up putting them in her Easter baskets, Valentine's Day stuff. I feel like Halloween, Christmas. I mean, it's like, they're always going. Um, but these are $1.98 I got at Walmart. Walmart always has just like a bunch of poppets and they're like themed. So I think you can get a bunch of these too also at Target Dollar Spot. But they're just fun. She loves her poppets. So this is a cute little bunny one. Okay, now into the more like educational things. Um, Eleanor is about to be into kindergarten um, and she's doing awesome at uh, pre-k we were so proud of her and so we decided it's time to start working on our sight words you might have started this a long time ago but you know what 
we're in no rush, okay? So I bought this um, pack of 50 sight words. They're wipeable and like she can write on them and practice her writing, which is awesome. That's why I got them. We have another set for Ollie um, that we can still definitely use, but I like the fact that she can write on these. They have sight words, they have ABCs, one, two, threes, pre-K, they have a bunch of different ones. Um, if your little one isn't ready for sight words and wants to practice their writing or learn their ABCs and stuff, they were inexpensive, Scholastic is great, so I got these for her. We also have this um, kindergarten, what is this from, School Zone? kindergarten fold out fun workbook uh, this was actually from costco for 9.99 um it has a bunch of like little fun thing like a 100 chart um abcs to practice writing on like a connect the dot sort of thing and these are all dry erase but then it's just a bunch of worksheets um for her to work on she loves worksheets i feel like she thinks that they make it's like she's like feels really big like her sister um because her sister will bring home all of her work from school and eleanor does some worksheets at her school but not a lot it's more focused on learning through play um and centers and stuff and so eleanor loves being able to um do worksheets and so we found this at um costco and this is her age range five to six for kindergarten and i just figured this will be really fun for her to do over the summertime um we are going on a couple of vacations this summer first time since the pandemic we're so excited anyway um so i figured this would be really good for us to bring along with us as well so that is that um and then this is an item that she desperately needs but she has a new ipad case um, I got this one that's actually really similar to the color she's already has, but her iPad case actually still works. It's great. It's been super protective, but it had a plastic stand that she used 24 seven, but it eventually gave out on and broke on her. And she's been using other things to like prop up her iPad and is MacGyvering it. Like every time we go out there, she has like this new setup to keep her iPad up. And so we know that she just is like ready for her stand again. Um, and instead of buying the exact same case where the stand potentially would break, we decided to get this like foam one. Um, they, their first iPad they ever had was in a case like this and it worked really, really well. It was super protected and it always stood up. So this is the one we ended up getting. It was, you know, not super expensive off of Amazon. Good reviews. Nothing super exciting, but it's something that she will be really excited about. Um, for her, I always try to get the girls like an arts and crafts item. So for her arts and crafts item, I got this scratch art kit. I got this actually at um, Target for like $4.99, something around there. Um, when we went to Olive's open house into her art classroom, her art teacher had a bunch of these scratch kits out and Eleanor loved it. She never wanted to leave. We've done them with her before, but I don't think she's ever really enjoyed them. Um, but it's like that like spark hit and it was like her favorite thing. So um, it comes actually with stencils, different design scratch art sheets that she can use and then blank ones and so um there's some guided ones and the ones she can create by herself and i just thought they this would be something that she would really have fun doing so um it's eight plus and i have no idea why it's such an old or high like age range um as long as i think is you know you're supervising it should be okay but i think the age is really high maybe it's because of the the black um paper that comes off i don't really know or maybe the sharp scratcher maybe it's the sharp scratcher but i think she'll be fine um and we always do arts and crafts and stuff together so anyway this is for her this is from target um i also picked up a couple of makeup items not a whole bunch this year i feel like last year is when i did more on the makeup train um but i picked up these two from target they're from essence um and this is a fruit kiss carrying lip balm um that they just they just needed a really good lip balm but i just would be cute i just thought it was pretty too um it smells incredible and this is in the strawberry scent one i think yeah this one's just strawberry kiss and then this one these are juicy bombs they are just like the long comb juicy tubes i that was like my favorite lip gloss growing up my grandma used to always get them for me and these just bring me back all the memories so i had to get them for them these are super cheap um and it smells just like them. It smells so good. This one is the cherry, crazy cherry one. 
but I know that she's gonna love both of these and they've always loved to get some makeup goodies so these are super inexpensive again from Target those are her beauty items all right here are the last couple of goodies before we get into some clothes because I did buy clothes as well like I always do um, but I got these pack of Justice hair clips um, from Walmart their clips are so much cheaper than Target I feel like just about the same I wanted to get some little flower clips just like these from Target but they're like six bucks these are like 250 so um, they're just really cute little like almost like matte type of hair clips that are little flowers they're just so fun and 90s and I just loved them I also got a pack of socks I have no idea where our socks go I swear the dryer eats them I saw a TikTok where it's literally like you take the front panel off the dryer and there's a bunch of socks that like fall through the cracks so I needed to check to see if that's actually happened because we have lost so many socks so I just got a pack of these Wonder Nation socks that are like tie-dye and fun um, for Eleanor that they'll both end up sharing I also picked up these little Justice scrunchy, they're called Twisters, um, from Walmart. Again, these are like $2.50. If you buy them on the Justice website, it's like triple the price. It's insane. But at Walmart, it's the same product. It's so weird. At Walmart, they're super cheap. So I got this little pack of this like, pretty yellow one, and then I love the cute smiley face one. So I got these for Eleanor. Um, okay, let's jump in to clothes now for her, shall we? Um, I always get my girls swimsuits every year. It goes in their basket. This year I got this little number for um, Ellie. It's from Art Class from Target. This was $17. Um, it's a 4.5, or five, but it looks so small. We may have to size up. I feel like this looks so, so small. And my girls are real small, but Eleanor is like really tall and long. And I just feel like it's gonna be like a stretch. Um, However, this year she really, really wanted like a crop top is what she called it for her bathing suit. But I was worried because she's kind of in that weird stage where she's not quite a toddler anymore. She's five, but she still is so tiny. She doesn't quite fit an extra small quite yet. Um, so I didn't want to have to worry about the bottoms coming off her little bottom. So I feel like this was a perfect... She still gets the crop top, um, two-piece style, but it's all tied together, so the bottoms aren't going to fall off in the pool. So, this is her cute little tie-dye swimsuit. I think it's adorable. That is hers. And then, um, each of the girls got a matching little dress from Art Class. I love the Art Class line. Like, I just, everything that they have is so cute. It's this cute little daisy dress. It's a long, um, uh, it's like a midi dress, I would say, and it's like a body bodycon I don't want to say that for a kid but you know what I'm saying it's like more fitted it's ribbed it is so gosh darn cute these were like 10 bucks or so um I got I had ordered this one online because they didn't have it in store yeah this was ten dollars um and I just thought it was so adorable so I got this for her like I said we're going out of town this summer um we're flying to Arizona and seeing um my aunts and all my cousins and their cousins and I just thought this would be so cute for them to have like a little matching set so this is Eleanor's and then to go along with some of the outfits for the vacation, um, we also got this really cute little poofy top, scrunchy, scrunch top shirt. I don't know, whatever. These like style tops. Um, this was from Walmart from Wonder Nation. This is a size small, a uh, six, six X. They just looked really cropped. And so it's probably going to be big, but I just didn't want her to be like, tube top in it pretty much because it's so cropped but it's really adorable so we'll, hopefully it fits well um it's $9.98 um and it's from Walmart they do have a bunch of different colors and stuff online um but this is the one that we got for her and then to match we have these sets of shorts so um these are from Geranimals they're actually from the toddler section from Walmart they're only $5.98 but their like toddler shorts always run really large and so actually both girls can still fit them um and and so we, I got a set for her. These are just like really cute, like splatter painted shorts um, that I just thought would be kind of fun and summery together. So those are her clothes. And then she also has this really adorable, um, sorry, there's so much stuff on this bed, little nightgown. This is from Target, or no, Kohl's. And it's just a bunch of little butterflies. It's really cute and it came with a pack of scrunchies. We have so many scrunchies, but we can never get enough. 
um, but I just thought it was really adorable. So this is hers. It's actually a size six, I believe, um, but we always like to buy their nightgowns a bit bigger because, so they can wear them for longer. So this is actually just going to be packed away and we're going to use that for our trip as well. All right, the last things I have for Eleanor are some shoes. Her feet grew so fast this year and they definitely need some new shoes. Um, I will end up going and buying a couple more summer outfits and clothes for them um, as summer comes closer, but just to kind of bridge this gap, we needed some shoes. So I found these from uh, Walmart. I These are not my style in any shape, way, or form, but I know Eleanor will love them. So I found them, they're just cute little athletic shoes. They have memory foam, they light up. I mean like they're just, they just let it. There we go. They're fun. They're cute. They're hearts. They're sparkly. Again, not my vibe, but I know that she's really going to like them. I want to say they were like 12 or $13 or something. Um, but these are in a size 12 and I think she's going to love them. I also got her a pack of jellies. I may take these back um, and get the ones from Target, but they were all sold out from the ones at Target. I'm having a hard time finding jellies this year, which is weird because normally they're everywhere. Um, but I got them, I got her these, they were only $5.98. Um, I don't know, there's just something, they just feel like dirty already. And I just doesn't, they make me worry that they're gonna look really dingy and gross really quickly. So I may just buy ones um, from Target if I can get my hands on them. Or if you have any other good suggestions for jellies, let me know because I would like them. And a size like 12, like a toddler 12, um, I need for Eleanor. So, and for Ollie. So if jelly recommendations, please let me know. Like 12, 13 are the shoe sizes I need. Um, and those are kind of harder to come by. Okay, I think that is it for Eleanor. Oh my gosh, this took so long. I'm so sorry, but that's it for Eleanor. Let's move on to Ollie. Okay, so for Ollie is Barbie Extra. She also got one, she got this one. This just screams Ollie, the puffy. She even has like a jacket that looks just like this. It's puppy, puffy purple little jacket with this little teddy bear belt. Big old hoops. I mean, it's just the screams Ollie. So this is Ollie's cute little Barbie extra. Again, those are from Walmart, but I'm sure you can get them wherever Barbies are sold. Her outdoor toy is actually from Amazon. It is a jump rope. So they just started using jump ropes in PE this year, um, and she was super excited about this. So I found this little pink, cute, beaded jump rope on Amazon for just a couple bucks. Let me just say though, I've had the hardest time finding a jump rope. Like I thought you could just find jump ropes, buy them in store. That wasn't like a fitness jump rope for an adult, but like a kid's jump rope was super hard to come by. The only thing I found was Amazon. So I got this one, I thought it was really cute. Looks just like Ollie, and I think she'll have fun um, being able to use it this year. So she has a jump rope. I always like to do an outdoor toy um, or something outdoor just because of the weather changes. And it's like exciting and something to look forward to. So this is her jump rope. Like I said um, earlier, I went to Daiso. Originally, actually, for this. Um, Ollie has been super into like kawaii style um stationery and stickers and drawing and decor and all of it um and so i went to daiso looking for just some fun really cute stationery and they had a ton so first off i got this little um so anything of asmr anyway this little um like kind of accordion style folder and inside i got a bunch of different type of these are design papers. I think they're meant for origami, which she's been trying to learn as well. So I thought these would be perfect for it. Um, and these just had like some really cute pastries and stuff on them. And this had just like a bunch of different like uh, patterns. Um, but she could also use these for scrapbooking and things like that. She's just been into creating. Um, I found a bunch of different like fun stickers that I know that she will just love. So I got all of those. And then I found another pack of little roll stickers um and then i know cinnamon roll is like a really popular character and i thought she would love this i don't know what she's gonna keep in it probably more stickers but i just thought this was so cute and then i also got her her own little spiral journal which she also really wanted so all of this stuff came from daiso like i said but you could find a lot of this stuff online um and order just a bunch of really i mean amazon has so much of it um even shein has really cute kawaii style stickers and stationery and stuff but this is all going to go in her 
um, basket and I think she's gonna be so excited. She is definitely my little artiste and creator. Um, and then her other art kind of project um, I got is this. It's from Mondo Llama. It's a paint by number canvas kit. This was $15 um, and it comes with a full like paint by number canvas and then these two little like wooden holders and um, strings so she can d display it and hang it on her wall afterwards. Um, I don't know what the age range is this in is I do not know what the age range for this is. I'm sure it's actually probably older than her. Um, I think it looks a little bit more complicated, um, but I think she's gonna really love it. And it's gonna be a project she can take her time and really work on. Um, she really, really loves to paint, as you guys know, both of my girls do, but I just thought this would be a really fun, um, activity for her to do that's going to be challenging so they have a bunch of different paint by numbers things i love mondo llama brand we have had such good luck with everything we have purchased from them i highly recommend them they're from target you can get really good quality items for a great price um, and they have a bunch of different fun more age appropriate probably um, items and kits and stuff so i definitely recommend them if you're looking for some fun like crafts kits um, or just just fun kits for your kids for Easter. So this is going to go in her basket or next to it or somewhere um, But I think it's going to be a really fun activity That's going to kind of take some time and for her to just enjoy kind of painting. So That is that one for her um, I think I need to get one more thing for Eleanor now that I'm looking at it to just like kind of balance everything out I don't know what that's going to be yet though we also have these two books for Ollie. Um, Ollie's gotten so into reading. She's doing such a phenomenal job and she's really, really enjoyed reading. And I want to nurture that as much as possible because reading is like my favorite pastime. So um, I just think it's just, there's nothing like it. So I found this um, series. I've heard about this before. I've been wanting for her to be able to read it for a while now, but it, she just hasn't been ready up until now. But this is the Princess in Black series. And it's just this really cute superhero uh, series about a princess who is a superhero. Um, and I just think it's so cool. It just shows like the strength of girls and um, I just loved it. So I think it's definitely age appropriate for her um, at her love, her reading level. There's still a bunch of pictures. So it feels like a chapter book with the length and the type of, I mean, there's chapters, but there's pictures and stuff and illustrations for her to still enjoy as well. Um, this comes in hardbound, but I got it in paperback on Amazon for like five bucks or so. And there's a whole huge series for them, but I did see uh, the actual like hardbounds and stuff for a great price. I think it's like, eight dollars or so at costco and they had a bunch of them but this she they had like eight nine ten eleven twelve and she obviously wasn't there so i wanted to get her the first one in the series to see how she likes it so this is one that she's gonna have um i may buy a couple more books for her as well um for our trip because i really want to encourage her to read because i'm gonna be reading we're also going up and renting a cabin um uh and having like a big outdoor vacation stay um and i will be reading a lot and i want to encourage her to do so as well um we also got this for her to try this is called katie the cat sitter and it's actually um a graphic novel um and graphic novel not graphic novel graphic novel um and she's been really into those and it's just been so fun to see what she enjoys um but it's just like a graphic novel like comic strip style um, and it's just about a girl named Katie who has cats and she like protect, I think she babies, I guess she is a cat sitter. I mean, I don't know much about it. I just, they had really good reviews. It was super cute. And I think it's something that Olive will really, really love. She loves cats, loves cats. Um, this was, it says $20.99. I think that it was like 13 or something on Amazon. Um, it is the hardbound version, but they do have paperback, but I just think it's something that she's really going to love. So I'm excited. Like, I can't wait. Like, it's so fun to be able to share like reading with her, um, and getting her into series and books. This is something that I wanted to share. It's actually something we've had for a little while. My mom actually got this for all of, but I think this is a really awesome, Easter item um, if you have a reader yourself. This is just like a really cute unicorn bookmark, 
but it's a timer. So if you have kids who need encouragement to read or need to set a timer and have to read every day for 20 minutes or whatever it is, um, you can set the timer um, so they know when to start and stop. Um, and it's been coming really in handy for Ollie. She will end up normally reading outside of that time frame anyway because she really enjoys it, but to make sure that she meets her like recommended goal um, every day from school. This was just a cheap little thing from Amazon. It wasn't super expensive, but I think this is a really, really good option for kiddos who um, are starting to read and needing to be reading every day and perfect for an Easter basket. Okay. Ollie has two of her lip glosses. Same thing, Essence, the Juicy Bomb. This one was Sweet Peach. This one smells... I have such... It smells just like the Lancome Juicy Tubes. It is like instantly visceral memories like taking me back um and then i got her this uh lip balm same one as eleanor but this is in the color raspberry dream and it's kind of like frosty um and then winnie dundies <laughs> um i actually need to buy a pack for eleanor as well but i just bought these really cute ones from wonder nation they just have like fruits and they're just they're basic you know nothing too crazy but we needed some underwear um so i got those from walmart and then i also picked up this little headband that has butterflies, it's a little cat ears with butterflies on them. This is like, if I could show you Ollie, this would be it. Cat with butterflies, but like delicate. <laughs> this is Ollie. So I got this, it was only $2.88 from Walmart. I just thought it was super cute, it's lightweight, so I don't feel like it's gonna like dig in her head and give her a headache. Um, and I just think it's so pretty and something that she's really gonna like. So this is her little headband. Um, like Eleanor's clips and then I also picked up this set um, again butterflies these are really really pretty these clips are so nice like the quality of them are so nice compared to the butterfly clips I was looking at at uh, Target and these were like again they were like three bucks it was so cheap um, and then it had a bunch of different hair ties and stuff with it but I mainly got it for the clips because they they're so pretty my girls share all of their stuff pretty much so I mean whoever gets it will end up sharing it with the other one anyway so it doesn't matter but I just thought these like just were so pretty and delicate and look just like Ollie okay moving on to Ollie's clothes she also got the same little dress but hers is in a size small um, again from Target, 10 bucks from art class, but to go along with hers, um, we found these sandals at Walmart and oh my gosh, I love them. They're in a size 13. If they have them in a size 12, I will buy them for Eleanor. They were $15.98. They're like really cushy. I just died. Like, oh, they're the cutest freaking things, man. They're pretty heavy though, and they're kind of platform. So it's gonna be interesting to see how she does with these, but I think she's really gonna like them. They were so cute, I could not pass these up. I could, they, were, I, they had to have them. So that is her little set um, together. Her swimsuit is also from art class from Target. She really wanted a floral swimsuit this year. That's the one she asked for. So I found this little set and I just thought it was so cute has this really pretty floral design on it. It's kind of like muted pastels with a, like a grayish blue background and the bottoms are shorts. So I really liked them. I think this is something that's totally up her alley. She's in to like cute sportsy looks, sporty looks. And so I feel like the shorts and the, the cut of the swimsuit's kind of sporty, but it's still really pretty and floral and feminine. Um, the top looks really small to me though. So we'll see how these fit. I'm worried that this may be a little bit too small, but we can always size up. This isn't a small size 6X. So we'll see, but I just thought this was really, really cute. And um, this was $20. And then her nightgown was also from Kohl's. And again, she loves cats, so it says catnap. It's just a little tie-dye mint green one with a bunch of different scrunchies. Um, this again, we're just gonna save um, for vacation. So that's their little out, or her, their sweet pajamas for vacation. She also got the same shirt that Eleanor did and the same shorts, if I can find them. No idea where they are. They're somewhere, but she also has the same like paint splatter shorts as Eleanor, as well as the little white shirt, sheared, sheared top, right? Um, and then my mom picked this up for her. We're trying to find one for Eleanor. Trying to get our hands on these gosh darn dresses has been next to impossible. But we got this beautiful gingham, like check, beautiful little 
yellow daisy sunshine dress from Walmart. It was $14.98. It is such nice quality. It feels so good. It's so pretty. Um, but this one is for Ollie and we're trying to get one in Eleanor size and it's been so gosh darn hard. Ollie also has a pack of jellies. Um, these are just slide-ons. I wish ones that had backs, but again, like it's been hard to find those in her size. So um, I think she's still really gonna like the slides, but I wanted ones that are a bit more easy for her to like run and play in. These will be a little bit more difficult, but they're really, really cute. Perfect for summer. These were only $8.98 from Walmart. And then lastly, she has this set of her sneakers I got from Walmart thought was so cute the little platforms um little like faux converse she has a bunch of actual like converse that she wears all the time and loves them um and i just thought these were so cute and they look just like they're you know faux converse but they're like platform style gives me mary kate and ashley vibes all the way i loved them i thought they were so cute and perfect for her so these were $13.98 um really really cute wonder nation just like rocked it man i have Walmart has honestly and truly become my favorite place. I love Target, I do, I do. But I feel like you can find so many good things at Walmart for everyone for such great prices. Walmart is my like ride or die now. All right, that is it for Olive. Um, there's two more things I need to share that are for the girls before I move on to Jazz. But oh my gosh, I hope you guys are still bearing with me. You got, you wanted this video. You wanted this video guys and here we are. It's taken so long. Anyway, okay, so the last two items. I picked up this <laughs> this set of Squishmallows on Walmart online. Now, first off, I thought the I thought when I opened it, I was like, oh my gosh, the box is all dented, but it's most supposed to be like that. Um, not that you were wondering, but just if you were. <laughs> Um, but when I ordered these, I thought they were gonna be so much bigger than they were. I thought they were gonna be like this size. Um, they absolutely were not. They're very, very tiny. Um, and they were like $14. It's just so expensive. These things have like taken the world by storm. I feel like with kids recently, I don't know what, how it like hopped on the trendy train, but I feel like every kid has these. Um, and the girls are now just like, they have a couple of them that were gifted to them and they haven't, it's been like, you know, but since they've been into stuffies lately, um, I feel like this, this is their new thing. So I found these, um, I expect them to be a bit bigger, but it's okay because I feel like these are the perfect size to go in Easter eggs. I will try to have these linked. Hopefully you can still get your hands on them. Um, but I feel like these are perfect for Easter eggs, for Easter egg hunting. So there's only six in there. There's two mystery ones. Those don't matter because I'm opening it up anyway. Um, but I feel like these will be fun little surprises for each of them to have like three little squishmallows. Um, so I found this on Walmart. And I was like, great, done, wonderful. Then I was in Costco <laughs> the other day. And I came across this set of Squishmallows. So these are the small size. I think then there's medium. And then there's like, look, I don't know. They have a bunch of sizes. But I found this set. These things are so, just so expensive. I don't get it. Um, but these were on sale for, or like these were like 23 or something bucks at Costco. And I feel like this set is normally like 40 something bucks, um, like online and stuff. So they had a bunch of different ones. Um, but these are the set that I ended up going with. They're all like food related items. I think they're so gosh darn cute and so fun. Each of the girls will obviously get four. I don't know how I'm going to make it work. If I'm going to try to squash some of these into Easter eggs. So we have the jumbo Easter eggs or if I'm going to put them all in their Easter baskets or if they're just going to chill on the table and they can pick what they want. I don't know how I'm going to divvy up these ones quite yet, but I just thought that they were so cute. Um, and so fun. Like there's little sushi. She's so cute. There's a burrito. I just, I loved them, but they did have different themes and stuff like that. And they were at Costco and they had a ton of them when I was there. Obviously I know that kind of divvies up depending on, you know, where you are located and stuff. And if you have a Costco membership, but if you do, and you like are looking for some goodies, I feel like these are really great. Um, if your kid is also into squishmallows so that is the, that is it that is their last official thing um again it kind of went a bit crazy but i'm really happy with how everything turned out this year i think it 
ended up being really good. It's like a lot of fun things um, for them to use and create with, but a lot of like things that they need, needed like clothes and stuff like that. Again, I don't feel like I spent like a crazy amount of money this year. You're, you're gonna add it up and be like, um, actually, um, but I hope I gave you some good ideas because I really am excited for all of these things. Lastly, I'm going to share the last couple of bits um, that I got from my husband to give you guys some ideas if you're looking for some things. Um, yes, and I will have, I would le need your advice on something. Okay, so for my husband, um, I bought him a bunch of things to wear to work. Um, he normally wears like a suit and tie to work, but a lot of times he'll wear his, instead of his wearing his jacket, he'll wear, you know, just his dress shirt or a, car um, a cardigan. He loves to wear cardigans and he looks so cute. He looks like a cute little Mr. Rogers and I love it. Anyway, I found this cardigan from Amazon. I would try to look online for all different places and I feel like all the cardigans are now no longer available because it's about to be spring. But I found this one on Amazon. It's actually really nice. Like I, it's an Amazon Essentials uh, cardigan and I, but the actual like quality of it is really nice. I was kind of surprised. Um, but I got him this one. It's just a basic heathered gray cardigan um, to wear over his dress shirts and stuff like that. He just, it's something that he likes doing. He gets cold really easily because he's a small guy. Um, and so, and they keep it like freezing um, at his, uh, his branch. And so uh, he needs a warm, cozy cardigan. So I found this one and I just really liked it um, from Amazon. He also needed a new brown belt. So I found... This is like all not very exciting and definitely like subjective, but you know, sometimes it's just nice to get the essentials. Um, so I found this belt for him on Amazon. It's just this really nice, pretty ambery brown color. Um, and I, yeah, I liked it. So hopefully this fits him. Um, I'm sure it will, but it's really nice. I like it a lot. Now I can't get that back in. Um, this I was so excited about. He needed some new dress socks and I didn't buy him any for Christmas, which I normally always do, but he needs some new ones. So I got a pack of Mandalorian socks. And if you don't already see him, he's over there. He's the love of my life, okay? I love Grogu so much. When we lost, um, when we lost our boy almost two years ago now, that's kind of crazy. Um, the first season of Mandalorian was coming out and Jazz got me Grogu. Um, and he was like the biggest comfort for me. I just loved him so much. Um, and, uh, he, I still sleep with him. Like, he's just like my little baby. I just, I'm obsessed with him and I love Mando. So anyway, I don't even like Star Wars. I'm going to be the first to say like Star Wars is not my niche. It's not my thing. But Mandalorian, I don't know something about it someone about it anyway so it came in a big set of um uh, mandalorian socks so we have grogu we have i don't know if these are just striped ones we have more grogu <laughs> um there's this set this one's so cute he's like ah he's so cute it's mando and grogu and the little egg um and then mando on the back here more grogu like i just I just thought these were the gosh darn cutest gosh darn socks ever, and I know he's gonna love them. So, I got way too excited about that, I apologize. <laughs> the next thing, you guys are gonna laugh so hard. My husband loves this stuff. I have never seen him so excited about a product in my life. He loves Dawn Power Wash. <laughs> he uses it on everything. And let me tell you, if you have never used this, this stuff is crazy. Like. We sometimes wonder what's actually in it because it's so good. The cleaning power of this stuff is insane. It cuts through everything. Like he will clean his phone with this stuff, which probably is not good. I would not take that chance, but he's insane. Um, and it is like crazy clean. Like it, this does magic on so many things. He uses it for everything. You know, like in my big fat Greek wedding where the dad uses Windex on everything. I mean, even on his like wounds and stuff, which he doesn't do that. If I found out he was doing that, we'd have some talking to do, but like that's him with power wash. He loves it. So I found this set at Costco for like seven bucks. You get the full, full Monty normal spray bottle and then the two uh, refills. And this is the best place to buy it. Highly recommend going to Costco and getting it. Um, but I know he's gonna love it. Like it's gonna be such an exciting thing for him because he loves power wash that much and we're out and he's having a hard time because he doesn't know what to do without it. So. 
Anyway, <laughs> okay, so my question and I need your advice is because I'm trying to figure out what other goodies that I can get for him. So um, I had planned on ordering a new mug because he drinks coffee every single morning and um, he just needs a new mug. He's been using all of my mugs, which is totally fine, but I think that he needs like a good, a good, good man mug. You know what I'm saying? And he loves Formula One especially Red Bull Racing. So I thought about getting him a Red Bull Racing mug. I thought about getting him some sort of gaming related mug because he's a big gamer. I don't know, but I just, if you have any suggestions, um, I'd love, I'd love your input. Um, I'm just also trying to find, he's also getting cologne. I always get him cologne. It's coming in the mail, um, but it hasn't come in yet. It's Aqua de Gio, uh, which is one of his favorites for like spring and summertime. So um, but I just, I need some more, a couple of other items. So if you have any good ideas, please let me know below. Like I said, he's a big PC gamer. You guys know that if you've watched my videos for a while, he loves PC gaming. Um, he's super into Formula One. The season just started, so he's like really pumped and amped for it. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. Just give me some ideas, guys. I need some ideas. I feel like I'm like running low on things which is normally not my, it's not my normal thing, but I feel like I'm struggling. So let me know below if you have any good ideas. But that is it, that is it. I have to clean this up really quickly before I have to go get my youngest from school. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time during this video. I, that, that was like a weird thing to say. I'm, I'm used to talking on my, with my friends on our um, talking app, Signal app. So that's what I normally say. Anyway. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you got a lot of good ideas. Like I said, I will try to have everything linked below. This was so fun to share with you. It's just fun to sit down and talk with you guys again. And these are the types of videos that make me so excited. And so I hope that this is what you've been waiting for. And I hope that it fulfilled um, your expectations. So any advice I'd love to hear again keep an eye out I know a lot of you guys have asked for what's for dinners to come back I haven't done one in over a year and it's coming it's coming your way I'm gonna bring them back um, I also just want to let you know that there's gonna be no fluff with the what's for dinners like these are real-life dinners okay we're budgeting I say that in the midst of all of this mess but we're budgeting um, because groceries are getting ridiculous expensive. So if you are like me, don't worry. I got you covered. I got some good dinners coming your way that are inexpensive and I'm excited to share them with you. Um, I also, we are redecorating right now our living room area and it is so cool guys. I can't wait to share that process process with you. I'm so excited. So that video is coming and a plus size fashion kind of spring summer haul is coming your way as well. So be on the lookout for all those videos. I'm so excited to get back in the swing of things. Thank you guys for bearing with me, for sticking with me, for checking in on me, for cheering me on. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you, truly from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and if you are new and you enjoyed this video and you stuck with it and my rambling, you're part of the family. You should just join us now. So um, one of us, too much Red Bull. Again, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I promise you guys. I'll see you soon. Thank you guys. Bye.